Hello everyone, welcome to 2-1, Writing and Interpreting Equations. Make sure you write your 2-1 in the top right hand corner. And make sure you put your first and last name into one, period, whatever you have, and the date in the top left hand corner. So, writing and interpreting equations. So, I'd like to remind you if it's in red, don't write it down. Or at least paraphrase. So, you need to know what it's asking you to do in order to do it. So let's figure out how to write an equation for a math sentence. So basically 20 minus the quotient of 7 and 8 is the same as twice x. So the quotient of 7 and x. So quotient. That's going to be one second. All right. Thank you. So the quotient is division. So that's going to be 7. The quotient of 7 and x, it's 7 divided by x, is the same as, is the same as, is like equals twice x. Now, at the moment, it's not asking us to do anything with it. Just write it out, and that's it. So here's our, our math sentence. Where is it? Right there, math sentence. Let's go on. Let's write an equation. Example 2. Write an equation. Remember, if it's in red, don't write it. Paraphrase it. Of 799 teens surveyed about what they do online, some use a social network. Of those on social network, 430 say people their age are mostly kind online, and the remaining 193 do not. Write an equation to find the number of teens surveyed who are not on social, not on a social network. All right, well, we can write down some information. We know that there's a total of 799. That's total. Total. And we know that 430 are under, are online. Well, they are on a social network. Social network, mostly kind. And the remaining 193 are going to be social network and do not. So not. So we know like this plus this plus something will equal the 799. So we know that 799 should be equal to 430 plus 193 plus some unknown number. That number are people who are not on social media or a social network. We understand that there were three different groups, and so if we add them all up, we should get 799. All right, let's go on. Write an equation with multiple variables. All right, well, the perimeter of a rectangle is twice the length and the width. All right, so perimeter is twice the sum of the length plus the width. Well, that's it. That's an equation. Well, that's a formula. And so we're going to learn later in this chapter, how do we solve formulas if we don't have numbers? Well, that's a literal equation, and we'll get to that. But let's go on. Example four, write a sentence for an equation. All right, well, let's write an equation. So twice a number. So we're going to say twice a number. And then we could say minus 1 is 5. All right. Well, let's, let's see if we can write it differently. 1 less than, 1 less than, so what's 1 less than 10? That'd be 10 minus 1 is 9. So if I say 1 less than, that means the number minus 1. 1 less than 2 times a number is 5. That's it. Done. Do I have to do nothing else? That's it. There's, here's two different examples of what we could write for the sentence because we're explaining it to somebody else. All right. Example 5. But you know what? This seems like a, a good time to pause, and we'll take this to part two. Bye, everybody. 
No, nah, I'm just kidding. We're going to continue. Write a sentence for an equation with grouping symbols. All right, well, this is exactly what we just did. So it's going to be three times the sum of a number and one is equal to 12. So sum makes it, hey, you're going to do this first. The sum of a number and one. Do that, then multiply by three, and say that's equal to 12. Done. That's it. Done. Fini. Finito. All right, example six. Interpret an equation. So we'll now just describe each part of the equation. So the volume. So the volume is going to be, well, what is the volume? The volume, the volume is everything inside the shape. So how much can fit inside? All right, so the volume is the circle repeated. Well, and that's the cylinder. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, if you look at it, it's the volume is base times height. So if you look at this guy, the base of this, what shape repeats from the bottom to the top? It's a circle. It's circle, 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 all the way up. So the area, so this pi r squared right here is the base area or the area of the base. is a circle. So the equation of a circle, the formula, is pi r squared. All right, let's go on. Now, this one kind of bumped it. So let's write it right here. It's h. What is h? h. That's the height of the cylinder. What do I mean by that? Well, how much does it repeat going up? How many times, how much does the circle repeat going up? So does it repeat 10 inches? Does it repeat 100 feet? How many times does it repeat? That's it. All right, guys. So we're jumping into solving equations, and I'll see you in class. Bye, everybody.